Okay, y'all, they had an excellent sale on some things at the big box store, and I picked up some starts, and I wanted to kind of show you some things that I do. This one I've kind of already pruned up a little bit. See, I've already clipped off some things on that one. I want to do the same to this one. So what I like to do is I like to take everything from the bottom off, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this all under the soil. So all this can grow, I'm just pinching it with my nail, all this can grow roots and it will actually help your plant be stronger and healthier. I'm also going to take off any suckers like that one right there in between. Also anything that start, thinks it wants to flower right now, no, not that, nope. And the sucker right here. So you, I'm kind of trimming them up a little bit. I kind of like to get them down to like a minimal number of leaves and things so that um, they have a better chance of being very healthy and strong and they'll get more roots. So let's get all this off. So that's what I kind of end up with. Whoops, you guys are kinda, ah! <laughs> knocking things over. That's what I kind of end up with, something like that. I think I actually am going to take off this one right here as well because I want to go all the way underground, probably to about right there. Maybe, maybe right there, maybe right there, somewhere right there, somewhere in there, okay? All right, let's do it. All right, gonna put some curly kale in this first one, this first container. It says curly kale needs some um, deep roots. So this is the one that uh, is full of soil. It's not, does not have a reservoir at the bottom, a reservoir at the bottom. Okay, let's see here. Oh yeah, I could spread the roots a little bit before I put them in. Oh yeah. Oops. That guy's anxious to get planted, jump right out. I just kind of spread them a little bit like that. Open that up a little bit. And in you go. I thought it was going to go around that one, but maybe not. We'll just go this direction. There we go. Namaste. Welcome to your new home. Now, I didn't want to put them too close, so I still have two more here. Debating. That one has a reservoir, so it's not, this one's not that deep. So I think I'm going to put the other two kale and this one right here, because this is a deep one. Kale, that one's still empty, and more kale. Woo, they're getting planted, yay. Okay, this one, which is a nice deep one right here, we're going to try something really different. We're gonna try a, a tomato, an early bird, I'm sorry, an early girl, an early girl tomato, right in the middle here. This is one of the deeper ones. I know they say these break up, but I kind of like my roots to be more free and not have to deal with that packaging so they can spread faster and not be worried about waiting for that to break up. Keep digging up some of my onions, but that's okay. Okay, I have one more early girl hybrid tomato. I'm going to go ahead and put it in here. As you see, I've mounded the soil up. I didn't go into the edges because, as you remember, we've planted our onion sets around the edge. So we're only going to use that middle area there. And we're going to put in our other early girls. 
All right, here she goes. We're gonna go in. There's that nice, fantastic soil right there. Nice little mound. Pack it down. Actually, I don't like it. it needs to go further in. Okay, let's try it again. I really want to get this down in here. Yeah, as you probably saw that I kind of put more of the stalk underneath. So that can actually grow additional. I'm trying to stand it up a little bit, thin the stalk over a little bit, because that will grow additional roots. No worries, we're gonna have a cage around this too, so. And I still see a couple of suckers on this one. Right here, right here. Let's get those pinched off. Now, everyone needs a nice drink of aquaponic water. Well, thanks for stopping by Arizona Homestead today. I am so excited to see how these cooler raised garden beds turn out. I hope you are too. And if you haven't subscribed, think about subscribing to our channel and joining us on this journey and hit that like button. And don't forget the bell notification so you don't miss an episode. And as always, my friends, be happy, be well, and be blessed. Until next time, bye-bye.